guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 19 of Makeup to Love Parades. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I still feel like her sister's going to wait until the very last episode to finally tell her of why she did what she did. Who knows? Are you bored? Oh, it's the Valentine's Day episode. <laughs> it's the Valentine's Day was last week, but it's okay. Yeah, do you? Oh. Well, maybe it's just better to make homemade chocolate. Homemade chocolate is just as good as, you know, buying chocolate for someone. See, now I'm trying to think. No, yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, there were a couple episodes. And I cut to Star's had um, a Valentine's Day episode because... <laughs> you may gave her chocolate to what's her face. So what's the face of M4? Yeah, because M4 is supposed to be in this episode. Yeah. This is when all the guys <laughs> This is the episode where all the guys come up. Cause I remember last week I was like, oh my god, like yeah, was like we go we kept going back and forth, like, are the guys ever gonna come? Are they not? I mean, you technically have shown some guys in this show, but not everybody from every single series. So, yeah, I mean, because M4 was, like, I think the only guys who were left out because they've shown... No, they haven't even shown Micah's brother. Yeah. They hadn't, yeah, 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 yeah. They never did. They showed um, the guy who I shipped Ichiko with, Aine, the guy who I shipped Aine, no, not Aine, Akari Chan with. They haven't showed M4 yet. Um, they, and neither, um, Micah's brother. Maybe even her father, but I think just her brother. <laughs> I know we're getting close to... No, we've already did it in, um... I don't watch right now. That was like two weeks ago. <clears throat> oh, so we're gonna see my <laughs> Oh my god! I want a macaron. Oh, it's you! See, I'm still waiting for the day when they literally have all five, all five girls together in one group. Something about, I don't know, what would you name it? Like protagonist something, but I don't think they would go that far to name it like protagonist. <laughs> but it would be nice. I mean, you had, um, 
Rocky go partner up with Ichigo. You see Nakati chan and you may partner up. And we've already seen I May and Mio together like ever since I got to friends. But it would be nice to see all five of the main protagonists together in a group. And then if they have to, I mean, because there's like what, over a hundred girls from this show or more and just like put them all in their categories of things. It would be nice. They could do that for the last episode. Which we are like very close to. By next week we'll be really close. It was pretty though. That looks so good. Can you imagine? Because since they're eating a crate now, what if they eat like everything from each series? Like a donut, some cake, some macaron. Oh my god, that brownie. Of course. Hmm? <laughs> Wait, you, not you, my Laura. <laughs> Yeah. 
did you guys spill chocolate in them? <gasps> it's matcha flavor. It has to be. Oh, soybeans! <laughs> to see those three together, everything. Ah! Oh. Uh, no, it's not good. <laughs> No, I think. Oh! It's <laughs> <See>, nice! <laughs> oh, what is that? Yeah. And Shay Dice is so good, too. This is just making me hungry, and I haven't even eaten yet. <laughs> Maybe I just need some help. That's it. If it was hot, then yeah. You know what I'm wondering? Like, still, so we've seen you. <laughs> Eureka. Where is Kayane? Kayane is, like, I think the only one we haven't seen. <clears throat> yeah, she is the only one we haven't seen. We've probably seen her in the background, but I don't think she has a speaking role yet. There's a finger that of Lily that's coming out, and I want it so freaking bad.
Okay. <laughs> oh, that looks so cute. I'm going through. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, my Mio. Yeah. Makes you wonder where he begins. <gasps> <It's so> <laughs> and it's for boys too. If only they got a damn speaky roll, it would have been so much better because I miss those two so much and they're flirting. <laughs> All of it.
Yeah. Yeah, and besides, you only really have, like, two minutes to make it. And we're not going to see that until next week. <gasps> oh my god, this is <laughs> my jam. Oh my god, Jesus. But I really liked it. The Valentine's Day episode was interesting. So I'm guessing we're going to somewhat have a part two when this week's episode comes out on Saturday. But who knows? I mean, it was interesting just to see what each type of sweet everybody was passionate about. I love the fact that, you know, you got to do her Lacanon dance because that was the best thing about a Katsu Friends. The dance was everything and it was just so freaking cute and just, it made you want my friends. Like, ever since I, I first heard about my friends, I've wanted one. And now I live on the side of town where I could go to, like, a background store because it's, like, maybe about... 10, 15 minutes away from me, and I just want to try them so bad. They look so good. I've heard really good things about them, but yeah, this was such a cute episode. I'm glad that literally everybody, almost everybody was in this show. It would have been better if Akko and Lex Fisher and Fort had gotten a speaking role, because, I mean, like I said, I love to see their little flirtations and stuff, because it's just too freaking cute, because we all know, even though she still cares for Super. Like, spirit, it makes the most sense. I mean, why would Bandai put them together? Think about that. <laughs> Think about that the next time you see those two each other <laughs> together. <laughs> oh, Alice! Oh my god, finally. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and do a clap right now because they're finally doing I kept wondering where in the world those two were because I mean I, I, like there's so many girls that it's like you can't always remember everybody and so when they finally show up you're just like let's go oh my god but those two I mean I feel like they're going to do the lucky lucky train song so then that means maybe the ending for next week is going to be um not lucky lucky train happy train that's um that's the name of the song so i'm guessing that opening i mean that ending is gonna be next week maybe but to see these two because like they i think like when when the poster for the second half or yeah the final season of oji katsu came out and i saw this poster it seemed like those two were going to be the main protagonists and akari chan was going to take a step back she was going to be more of the supporting role how like ichigo and friends were when Akari Chan season started like the first half and stuff and in the end they were those two they were kind of main characters but it was still Akari Chan's story and so especially when like the last few episodes aired and you know they had to figure out who was going to be the next star uh Starlight Queen for Starlight Academy and stuff um and how each and every other girl got a, sh um, a shine and stuff and one of the girls ended up singing Mizuki song which I do love the cover of it it's really interesting and different but still, like, they were the two who I immediately, and I think maybe a lot of people thought too, because when you saw the poster, um, they were more put up into the front, while the Kari Chana friends were put in the back. And so the previous poster of that series, 
I mean, of that season, it did the same thing with um, Akari chan and Ichigo. Akari chan and friends were put in the front while Ichigo was put in the back, somewhat very similar to that very first poster of Ichigo, Ran, and Aoi, and Mizuki in the top back from season one. And that's like, I think a lot of people thought it was going to be exactly like that for the two girls, those two girls. But unfortunately, it wasn't. But I'm still glad they're going to be able to be in this, this next episode because we're we're almost done with the show. And we don't know if this show is going to be over in the next five episodes or if they're like just joking because like I said a couple of weeks ago, I, I've, I've heard a lot of things. I've heard some things saying there's going to be a new show taking the Aikatsu time slot that I guess it was officially over once this show is over. They're going on and moving to a different thing. And it's like, you don't know really what to believe. The only thing that I currently kind of believe right now is there's a, there's another show taking the I cut to time slot because there has been proof on that. That's the one thing that I 100% believe right now. But kind of with everything else, it's kind of 50-50. But what the fact is, if this is the last show for it, um, I, I am sad. I will always be sad because this show started literally in 2012 and that was seven years ago. And to see it end in 2020, it, it's a little weird because I, I thought it was going to be like the next pretty hero where no matter what, it was going to still go, keep going and going and going and going and going. Kind of almost like how pretty, pretty Pata, I mean, yeah, pretty Pata, um, is doing with their pre on but I feel like that show is going to end soon and they're going to find something to new and invented to keep going because there's times where it gets a little too repetitive and you're trying to figure out what in the world you're, what could you possibly do next? So I feel like with both of these shows, their time is up and they're going to move on to bigger and better projects, whether it's something good or something bad. I don't know how far, um, preach on is because i stopped watching it after like the first two three episodes because i did reactions on it on my old channel but like um i want to say I, I, and it wasn't really more fans it was more of views and everything is why i kind of like died down it's still one of my favorites but i'm more of a naikatsu girl because even though i watched them both at the same time because when I cut to was airing and when um, Pretty Women was airing, I was watching both at the same freaking time and I fell in love with both. But in my thing, I cut to was always my thing and stuff and I loved it way more. But who knows? I mean, it could be a lie. It could be fake. We're just not really going to know until we get closer and closer. When we get to maybe like episode 23, 24, 25 and if something else pops up, then yeah, we might see something about it. But as of right now, it's just we got to wait until we see something happening, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Twitter, something comes up about information about what in the world they're possibly going to do next. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 19 of I Cut to Lot Parade. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys, mm, I, I want to say on Saturdays because I know the show comes out on Saturdays, but I mean, in the beginning, we used to have episodes like sub the next day but i mean now it's really whenever so yeah i'll see you guys whenever the next episode comes out possibly either sunday monday or tuesday for episode 20 bye guys